So normally when you combine a red colored liquid and a green color liquid and a blue color liquid, when you combine those together, normally you get like a muddy brown. That's because you're mixing paint, not light. When you combine red, green, and blue light together, you'll get a different color entirely. You're going to need three glow sticks, a clear container like a cleaned out mayonnaise or jam jar, and also a pair of scissors. Make sure you do your cutting over the sink. Here's what you want to do. This experiment's only going to work if you use a true color light stick, meaning that the light stick itself is clear, so the color of the liquid, the stuff inside, is actually the color you're getting. Often light sticks will have like a, a red plastic coating and it'll be a green light coming from inside the glow stick. Well, that's not going to work. So I have three different glow sticks here and I've got a red one, a green, and a blue. And we're going to activate them. Remember to activate your glow sticks, all you need to do is break the little glass container inside and then shake it up. If you look carefully, there are two different liquids in this one. I have a liquid on the outside and then this red liquid on the inside. The outside liquid is clear so it's a little harder to see. So what we're going to do is break it to activate it and then shake it up. Okay? And we're going to do that for all three of our light sticks. This is called chemiluminescence. Now this happens when you combine different chemicals together that give off light. Now this kind of light is called cold light. And it's different from the light, say, from an incandescent bulb, because when you touch a regular light bulb, they're often hot. So this is giving off light without being hot. We're going to mix together three different colors of cold light, the three primary colors of light, red, green, and blue, and see what happens. Using a pair of scissors, you want to carefully cut one end off of your light stick. Make sure you do this over a sink. So I have my three colors of light. I have red light, green light, and blue light. So normally when you combine a red colored liquid and a green color liquid and a blue color liquid, when you combine those together, normally you get like a muddy brown. That's because you're mixing paint, not light. When you combine red, green, and blue light together, you'll get a different color entirely. This is my green light. And to the green, I'm going to add blue. You can use a strainer to keep the small pieces of glass from going in. And when I swirl them together, I'm going to add my red. Make sure you combine all the liquid from all three light sticks. And when you swirl them together, you'll get white light. So why does this work? <laughs> because you're mixing light, not paint. The three different colors of light are going to be red, green, and blue. And when you mix the three colors of light, you get white. Now, just a special note, the red light tends to be more concentrated than the blue and the green. So when you first add your red light, only add about half of it and swirl it around to see if you've got the right amounts. Because the glow sticks vary in the levels of concentration, meaning how red they are, how green they are, how blue they are, you'll need to adjust it just to get the right amount. So if you only add half, it's easier to add more later. You don't want to get this liquid on your hands, so make sure you protect your hands with gloves and definitely wear eye protection. When you're done, you can pour this down the sink with plenty of water. Make sure to grab all the glass bits out before you pour your solution down the sink. When you pour your glow stick juice into your container, you can pour it through a coffee filter or even a small piece of cheesecloth to keep the glass bits out of your glass jar. Throw the glass bits away in the trash. Go ahead and give that a try.